But here you have a Supreme Court justice's wife who is acting with such aggression and such hostility. And it's not just that hostility toward the pride flag, but it is this uh, uni this unity with these flags that were flown by people challenging and trying to overturn the 2020 presidential election and that were flown uh, on January 6th as the Capitol was attacked during that insurrection. And so I think what you have here um, in terms of Justice Alito, quite frankly, is clearly under the federal recusal statute, he should recuse himself from any case involving January 6th. Um, under the federal recusal statute, which has been on the books for decades, it applies to justices. And it says when there's a reasonable belief that a, a justice will be biased in their rule Ruling, they shouldn't rule. And I would extend that actually beyond January 6th um, in terms of, you know, his role in uh, trying to roll in rolling back our reproductive rights. And also it just um, I think it bears mentioning that Justice Thomas also, you know, should not be sitting on these January 6th uh, cases. Mm -hmm. But also um, in that Dobbs decision, he called out that next on the chopping block were basically gay rights mm -hmm. um, and uh access to contraception. And so these justices are certainly imposing their personal views. And both Justice Thomas and Justice Alito have engaged in and, and acted with hostility towards people's fundamental rights of human dignity um, in their effort to impose their personal views. And the flags are symbolic of that. I guess I would just say that shame flag that um, Mrs. Alito designed in her head, in, in some ways, I think that shame flag is really flying over the US Supreme Court right now, because what's happened to this court, the corruption of this court, the scandal that has engulfed this court is truly shameful.